In this teacher video, I'm going to show you how to set up in a Google account for a whole class so that every student in that class can log on with one username and one password and collaborate on that Google account. To do this, you need to go to google.com and then click on the sign in button at the top. From here, you need to look down the left hand side and find where it says create an account for free. Click on that button and it will take you to the create an account screen. Here you'll be asked to enter the credentials for that account and the first piece of information that it asks for is your current email address. This is really important because what you need to do before you set up this account is to set up an email address for your class. I'd suggest that you set that email address up on your school's email server. So I've been to see my technician at my school and he has set up for me on our school email server an email address for my class DBS1. So my current email address is DBS1 at Dubai British School dot AE. From there you then need to choose a password that the students will be able to remember and type in but also has password strength. The password must be eight characters in length a minimum of so, once you've chosen an appropriate password, type it in again. And then choose whether you want to make the account so that it stayed in when signed in, and whether you want it to enable web history. I'm going to deactivate both of those. From here, you need to choose the location. So where will this account be most frequently accessed? For me, it's the UAE. Then type in your birthday. Now this would be, uh, my suggestion would be typing you the teacher's birthday. Note that the format is in American format, so you need the month first, then the day, and then the year. From here you'll be asked to enter a word verification. This is just to confirm that you're a human being who's creating this account and not a robot, or a web bot. So type in the two words, they are case sensitive, so obviously yours will be a different set of words than mine. Once you've entered those, you'll be asked to um, agree to the terms of service. And to agree, you just simply press I accept to create my account. Once you've clicked on that button, it'll say account creation confirmation. Welcome to Google Accounts. Your account username is this. In order to verify the email address, you need to actually um, log in to uh, that email address, so wherever it is that you've set it up. So for me, I need to log into my school's email server and confirm the authentication of this email address from that account. I'm now going to log into all of my school accounts, or sorry, my DBS1 school account. I'm just going to pause the video here whilst I go into this email account and, and activate. Uh, I would have been sent an email from Google with a, a, a hyperlink that I must click on to activate that account. So I'm just going to log in and click on that. I've now clicked on the hyperlink in my email and activated the account. So if I go back to the Google accounts homepage here and I sign in. I've actually set up several accounts now. I've set up DBS1 at Dubai British School .ae. I've done DBS2, DBS3, DBS4, DBS5, DBS6 and therefore all the different classes that we have at our school. So for example I could log in as DBS1 here at Dubai British School .ae, or if I wanted to I could sign out and sign in as a different user and what I could do is I could I've activated my DBS5 at Dubai British uh, School dot AE and I could type in the password for that account and sign in. And you can see that once you have activated all of the accounts um, and, and signed into them, I'm now at DBS5 at Dubai British School dot AE and you can get all of the children to log in with that one account. Uh, and then they can use lots of different features. So they can use the news, the maps, the mail, 
images, etc. So that's how you set up one account, one Google account for your whole class, which they can then use to log into and collaborate on.